Hannah, welcome back. It's 9.30. And Halloween is almost here, and you may have already picked out your child's costume, but is it safe to hit the streets? A lot of accidents with costumes might not be apparent till they happen. That's why we're bringing in a couple of local experts, Jennifer McKnight and Allison Chirawi with Children's Hospital of San Antonio. Good morning, and who's your friend there? Oh, there, there he goes. <laughs> this is Marcus. He's our facility dog here at the hospital. Oh, and he's Aww. dressed up as? He's Buzz Lightyear. Yes. To infinity and beyond. That's kind of rough. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> all right. So first off, what are some things parents should watch out for when picking their child's costume, guys? Okay. So the most important thing you want to think about when choosing a safe costume for your little ghouls and goblins is that you want them to be able to see and to be seen. So how does Marcus feel about wearing masks, Allison? So this is a mask that came with Marcus's Buzz Lightyear costume, and he's not really a fan of it. <laughs> I'm I not thought. making him wear it. But if your child's costume has a mask, just make sure that they're able to see clearly for their own safety and for the safety of everyone around them. And another option, instead of wearing a mask, is you can always use some non-toxic face paint to complete their costume. The second thing that we want to think about is that they need to be seen. Whenever um, our little witches and werewolves are out in the neighborhood walking around, we especially want drivers to be able to see them. Drivers need to be extra cautious on this night. So if we look at Marcus, he has on a light colored costume, but you can always add reflective tape or an actual reflector. This one actually blinks. These can be purchased at a lot of different stores. You'll find them usually in the bicycle department. So you can purchase one of those. Or a really easy option is just to carry a flashlight or a glow stick. And these are some modifications that parents can make because a lot of parents have already bought their costumes by now, right? Exactly, exactly. So I know for me, I have two boys. They might not want a light costume. They might want a darker costume. You can always add the, that reflector tape or just have them carry those glow sticks and flashlights so that they can be seen. Awesome. Any other advice you guys can think of before we wrap up? Yeah, the last thing we want to just make sure that it fits really well. If you look at Marcus's costume, he's going to stand up for us, or maybe not. <laughs> um, there's nothing dragging him around, nothing to trip him or trip his friends. We want them to have fun. Nobody enjoys getting boo-boos on Halloween night. Oh, he's a good boy. Well, give him a little ear scruff, a little scratch for us, guys. This is uh, Jennifer McKnight and Allison Sharawi and Marcus from over there at Children's Hospital of San Antonio. Happy Halloween, guys. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Us. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Let's have a happy and safe one. Who's a good boy? Look at Aww, you. Oh, he is a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is. Thank you. <laughs>